Hi guys! Ah, uh, I know it's a little bit shocking, but today I am doing a very much fall winter look. And yes, I'm not really used to the dark lip either, but I do think it's a really, really fun way to kind of switch up your look a little bit and, you know, kind of do something outside of the nudes and pinks. So, dark lips are very, 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 very popular right now for the fall season. So I thought I would talk about one of my favorite new lip products and do a little bit of a review on that. And that is the Bite Beauty Cashmere Lip Cream. And this is what the bo box looks like. So hopefully you guys can see, you know, what the box looks like so that way if you spot it at Sephora you can pick them up. I do believe that these are sold exclusively at Sephora, so if you don't have one around you, see if you can find them online. I actually went to my local Sephora to try on a couple of different colors before I purchased anything. And honestly, I really wasn't going in there with the idea of getting this dark of a cashmere lip cream, although I was planning on purchasing these. But as soon as I tried it on, I was like, this is the perfect fall lip color. I'm not sure if I would wear this to work because I work in a really professional environment, but I would wear it out on the weekends or out at night uh, just to kind of switch up the look a little bit. Now, the color that I got is in, well, I got two colors, so I will review both of them for you. The color that I got and the one that I'm wearing right now is called Bordeaux, and this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like outside of the box. And the packaging is nice. I can't complain about it. When I first pulled it out, you can see that the product almost kind of separates from the bottle, which I thought was kind of strange, but I did ask the representative at Sephora and she said it's just because of the uh, ingredients that are used to make the lip cream. So that's totally normal. So if you do get one and you see that it does that, don't fret my pet, it's fine. So the applicator is kind of strange. It's a little bit of a like foot applicator and it is pretty big. So because these are so, so, so pigmented, I mean, this is just a tiny bit, a little bit goes a long ways. The applicator I do find is kind of difficult to put on, especially if you're on the go. I mean, this is not something that you can put on while you're like driving and texting and looking in your rear view mirror and trying to apply this. That is not going to work. It's going to be like all over your face and it's just going to look messy. Only something that you need to do in, a, in front of a mirror, and I would even say at home, because what I did is I took a little bit of a, a clear lip liner to outline my lips and just to prevent any feathering. And then I went in with an angled brush. Let me tell you what brush I got. Hang on one second. And I got the MAC 208 brush, which looks like this. Just has a little angle on the end of it. And this is supposedly used for like eyebrows or even eyeliner but it has such a fine angle on it and it is so thin that I thought it was really good for like really getting the outside like curves of my lips because the applicator is so so big it's kind of hard to get like the curve of your lips really down and so I just thought this helped a lot in getting the product on like perfectly obviously you don't really need this but it's just going to take a lot longer to put it on because you do have to be so careful because honestly if you're putting this on like on the go you're not going to get those really like perfect lines and it's just going to be really really hard so again yeah. this is in the color Bordeaux I also got this other one right her and this is in the color Sancerre hope I'm saying that right I don't know but this is more, and the website, Sephora describes it as, as like a pinky red, which is spot on because this is the color right here. It's definitely, 
I don't even know if I would call it red. I'd say it's definitely more of like a magenta, like darker pink color. And again, there's the, the apple. And then here's a swatch for you too. And that was just the lightest little just like touch to my hand to get all of that pigmentation on there. So again, it is very, very, very pigmented. So a little goes a long way. So, um, ah, oh shoot, I'm getting the other color everywhere all over my leg. Oh, well. okay. So I think that the, the biggest concerns that people have when they're buying lip creams or lipsticks or lip glosses, um, are, you know, wear time, pigmentation, does it feather, is it sticky, and the color selection. So in terms of pigmentation, I mean, I think we've already covered that. It is very pigmented. They do, you know, last a really, really long time too. I mean, I put this on just before I started filming. However, I wore the other color today and I had my morning coffee and even through lunch and probably about like three o'clock in the afternoon, it was still fully and on. And that's something that you're really gonna want with a lip product that's not very wearable on the go. Like it's really difficult to put it on on the go. And in terms of feathering, I would say that this product does feather a tiny, tiny bit. So I would just suggest using a lip liner with it. Really simple fix. I used a lip liner today. Uh, I also used a lip liner when I wore the other color earlier on today. So I, as long as you're wearing a lip liner, you'll be fine. Another concern for people when they're buying lipstick, or I guess I should say lip gloss, is how does it feel? Like, is it sticky? This is not sticky at all. It's called a cashmere lip cream, so it's supposed to be, like, you put it on and it's a little bit glossy and then it dries to a matte finish, which is definitely something that I'm going to look for in darker shades. Although I don't think that it dries super, super matte. Something like, like, for instance, the MAC uh, Retro Matte collection that's out right now. That is very, very matte. This is a little bit more glossy than that. However, it's not super shiny either. So the good thing about that is that it does last a little bit longer. However, one big problem with uh, lipsticks that tend to be matte is that they can be very drying. This does not feel drying at all. And that's something that I'm super, super picky about too. Like it feels... I mean, they really described it well. It feels like cashmere on your lips. I mean, it's very soft, it's hydrating, it feels really good, and I mean, what more can you really ask for, Now let's right? read what Bite actually claims these products to do. It says that it's a cream to powder matte lip color that delivers an unprecedented 50% pigmentation dispersion. So that means, obviously, it's just more pigmented than your regular old like lip glosses or lipsticks. It says that their weightless formula fuses hand-milled edible butters with pure premium pigments to deliver Bite's boldest coverage yet. Formulated with four times the average level of pigments, cashmere lip cream imparts an intense feather light wash of color. And they are correct when they say feather light. You, even though it's very, very bold and it's very pigmented, you don't feel like you're wearing lipstick. I mean, it, sometimes when I'm wearing lipstick, I'm kind of like, doing this thing because I'm like trying to be careful not to get lipstick on my teeth or I don't know I just kind of have that funny feeling this doesn't feel like really anything is on your lips at all it just feels good and so I mean like really what more can you ask for besides you know having something that feels good on your lips and also looks good another thing that's pretty cool is that everything in these products are organic and natural so in the description when it says edible butters they really mean it I mean you could eat this stuff and it wouldn't do anything bad to you so that's always good too um, overall, I'm loving these. I will definitely purchase like the bright pink one or maybe the like plain Rioja one, the red one in the future because they're lightweight, they're pigmented, they feel amazing, they last a really long time and although it's not a lip product that you can really put on on the go because of the applicator, I would give these a 10 out of 10 for sure. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you do want to see a look like a makeup tutorial of the stuff that I have going on right here. Just go ahead and thumbs up this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye!